When problems or issues uh, are faced by the public that the actuarial profession has a unique view on, it's our duty to share our expertise uh, with the public, particularly with uh, decision makers, policy makers at both the federal and state levels. The public interest work at the Academy is really a reminder to all of our members that we have a responsibility to the public. And the Academy's job is to really sort of coalesce that voice and, and, and clearly and concisely deliver that voice uh, in an effective way to the public. The Academy has been wrestling for quite some time on being able to have a more uh, focused and useful role in the public policy debate. Whether or not to start issuing advocacy positions. The decision was that we needed to provide advocacy in issues where there is an actuarial solution to a public interest problem. We developed a very stringent, deliberate process for determining what issues we would make statements on and how we would go about issuing those statements. We try to avoid these statements from being partisan in nature, but sometimes you're just not going to be able to avoid that. Obviously there is a lot of politics, there's a lot of uh, agendas that are at play. And I think we're trying to navigate and move into this space where the physics of the social insurance issues need to be brought to the table. The public interest work of the Academy is important to the profession because it brings to each and every actuary the recognition that there are things and issues that we can address very effectively beyond the daily actuarial work in which we are all involved. When we speak as the profession to the public, we're speaking for the entire profession. Once you get outside uh, the actuaries themselves, one actuary is an actuary, and the silos that we put ourselves in are internal to our profession. When we speak, we speak uh, for all actuaries, regardless of their area of specialization. When I was the senior pension fellow at the American Academy of Actuaries, I found it very important to have as many people volunteer from around the country uh, to help us on our committee so that I could find out what do actuaries feel about a particular subject, because it was important for me to represent the profession, to give out good information from the profession to the public or to Congress. When the Academy takes an important position, such as the Raising Social Retirement Age, our audience is every single citizen in this country. Of course we're speaking to policymakers, but we want our message to come through loud and clear to the average person on the street. I think we need to have the willingness to step forward into the debate and know that as we do, we will get uh, better clarity and, and be able to contribute more significantly in a productive way. The Academy's mission statement precisely provides that the Academy uh, is to be proactive in areas of public policy uh, where actuarial expertise uh, is required. The actuarial profession has a unique skill set, knowledge base, and view of issues, a, a way of tackling financial problems that other professions don't bring. Uh, we definitely have a seat at the table and our voice needs to be heard. There are lots of economists and lawyers and accountants out there in the government and expressing their opinions, but if they don't hear the actual voice, there will be a lot missing. For example, we're one of the few professions that looks far into the future. So it's important for us to be communicating with the public so that they continually come back to us and ask our opinions. I certainly wouldn't expect every actuary to agree with every position that the Academy takes but I would hope that every actuary will support the need for the Academy to provide advocacy positions on actuarial issues. We're a relatively small profession and not well known, and when we speak it needs to be with one voice and it needs to be all of us. I think the public interest component of the Academy's mission is an essential core value and an essential vision that we need in order to make sure that we are more than a trade organization, that we're more than a group of experts. I've had the great fortune this past year of being the president of the American Academy of Actuaries. And it has been wonderful to watch a group of experienced actuaries, all high level in their organizations, come together and work together for the public's good.